Hey folks, uh, we're going to look at some uh, series parallel wiring. Um, this is for when you're going to wire, uh, obviously, if you see here, several speakers uh, into one uh, input. Um, I want to start off by saying that this is this design is a Bill Fitzmaurice design. It's BFM design, uh, BillFitzmaurice.com. You can go and look at all the designs he has. Um, I highly recommend them. They're good designs. And, uh, but the wiring is called series parallel. Uh, it's been around for a long time and, and I found it confusing. So I thought, well, maybe I'll make a video and show you guys how I learned it. Um, I've highlighted the red as positive, as you can see here and here. And then the uh, black as negative, obviously here, common. Um, so we're starting on this side and everything's kind of joining here in the middle, as you can see. Uh, ignore this crossover, it's not for what we're doing here. It's for these tweeters and we're not going to go there with that. Anyway, so what we see is we have one common or one positive coming out here. And this positive comes around to our first speaker and it can be either side. It doesn't matter. This is just the side that I chose. And that positive will come around, connect to the next positive as you can see followed up. This slack that's everywhere that you'll see is it's here because uh, if a speaker blows, I need to be able to get access to it. So I've hot glued them down and that's why there's slack so I can pull it out. Uh, comes up and goes to the next positive. As you can see here, this positive swings around, comes around to the next positive. As you see here, same, the first four speakers, positive goes with positive. Now, we are connecting eight speakers in series parallel wiring, which means that if you do eight, you're going to get half the ohms of what the speaker is normally. So, for example, this is an 11-ohm speaker, which is an odd number, I know, but it's an 11-ohm speaker. So, if they're wired properly, we should get about 5.5 ohms when we get done. And we'll look at that here in a second. But once again, we're going positive in to positive to positive, to positive. Stop with the positive after the first four because we're doing eight in series parallel. We stop with the positive. Now, to connect this next four set of speakers to the first four to make series parallel, here's where the trick is. Now we start going into our negative. Now, our first negative set around and swoops back through. Comes around and swoops back through and goes negative to negative, negative to negative, negative to negative, stop. But to connect our second four set of speakers, we go from negative, and as we can see, I don't know if you can see it or not, because I don't know how much light we have here, our negative wire kind of, it turns into a positive wire. You have to excuse those. See how it turns into a positive wire and goes over and connects into the positive end of the second series of four speakers second series of four of eight speakers. Now we're going again, just like before, we've gone from negative to positive into the positive receptacle here. And then again, just like before, positive to positive, positive to positive, positive to positive. To complete the circuit, we have to complete all of this as one. So to do that, we'll go from, we'll start our negative, and we're going to come around and bring our negative up to negative, to negative, to negative, and then out. And here's our end point. So we have one positive input, one negative input. To complete the series, we have our negative coming back around and forming the other end, which will be our speaker receptacle. Now, this will actually plug in other things. We won't get into that. But I wanted to show you, this is, these are 11 ohm speakers. By plugging four and four in series parallel, which would be a total of eight speakers, you get a ohms of 5.6, 5.5, which is exactly half of 11, which is what each individual speaker is. So as you can see, this is wired correctly because we're getting exactly half the ohms of what the original ohms of one speaker would be, which is what series parallel does. If I was to run nine speakers, we would get, I believe that's the same ohms. 
So as one, so we would be running 11 ohms. So again, there's only one tricky part here. We go positive in to positive to positive to positive first four. Second bank of four runs off of the negative of the first bank of four into the positive of the second bank of four to positive to positive to positive. And then we're going to go back around to negative. Back around negative to each one and we complete our circuit here. So we have negative and positive inputs. And that's how you do it, folks. And uh, as you can see, um, ignoring, of course, the piezos and the crossovers, we have five and a half We're right on spot here. So we've wired correctly. Everything should run at five and a half ohms, and we should be good to go. Uh, again, this is a Bill Fitzmaurice uh, design. This is his. This is one of his designs here. If you'd like to learn more about his speakers, you will have to log on to his website. He has an unbelievable forum that you can uh, uh, check out that helps you. They'll, the people there are very knowledgeable, and they will walk you right through any questions or concerns that you might have with uh, speaker building. And uh, it's really not that hard, folks. So anyway, uh, I hope you learned something about series parallel. And uh, if you have any questions, I guess leave a comment. Um, if you like the video, leave a comment. And uh, if not, well, sorry, leave a comment then too. Thanks, guys.